increases are shown in about six of the provinces. And that's why uh, it's important for us to now recognize that this now is a second wave. The majority of the new cases are from Western Cape, and that is 30% of the positive cases today in the 24 hours are from Western Cape, followed by Eastern Cape, which is at 24%, then uh, KwaZulu Natal, which is 23%, and Gauteng Province, which is 17%. These together, <clears throat> these together are indicating the provinces that are driving the numbers that are going up at this point. Free State, Limpopo, Mpumalanga, and Northwest each account for 1% of the new cases respectively. Uh, and of course, Northern Cape even accounted for less than 1%. It's important to make this uh, distinction because uh, since the end of uh, uh, September, we had actually seen most of the, our numbers coming down to as low as around 1,000, just uh, under 1,000. But now the numbers have started increasing. They first moved to about 2,000, <clears> but now they have moved much higher than that. It's important also to highlight that today we've breached the 6,000 uh, mark in terms of new cases, and the total new cases identified are 6,079, which are giving us a total of 828,592 of cumulative cases today. That activity shows us where we were around June, July, August, uh, where the first peak was. And we had a good lull uh, for September, October, and early November. But if you look at the graph now, it's showing the numbers are already starting to rise. The first two at the top is Eastern Cape and Western Cape, but below them is Guazulu Natal and, uh, uh, and Gauteng. This is the one area that is a <clears throat> major a source of concern for us. This rise is showing that it's going to be expo exponential growth. That means we must expect faster rising numbers with higher peak possibly than the first, the first uh, wave. Uh, the, the peak age at this period is now 15 to 19, age, uh, 19 years of age group. Now, this is a new issue, and this is what's most worrying. It's believed to be due to a large number of parties involving young people drinking alcohol with no adherence to non-pharmaceutical interventions, wearing no mask and social distancing, and hand and san sanitizing also not taking place. We have actually had a, a report that has come from Wazul Natal from last week, where you could see this pattern is much more widespread than we thought. This inevitably leads to super spread activities, which spill over into the rest of the country as the age group is highly mobile and the majority of the carriers are largely asymptomatic. I think it's important to send the message to all uh, South Africans that uh, uh, yes, festive seasons are the, uh, the uh, time for us to relax and enjoy with our families. It's time for us to enjoy but we now need to understand that we have got a responsibility to enjoy with uh, various restraints. And these restraints are to make sure that it is not um, you know, a responsible way to enjoy yourself uh, to the detriment of other uh, fellow South Africans. If our enjoyment is going to lead to more people being uh, you know, infected and getting sick and getting admitted into hospital, and even some losing lives, it's not a responsible way of uh, enjoying ourselves. So we need to then be prepared to enjoy a festive season with a difference. 